Hey, 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 welcome to my channel, Tea Girl Magic Tarot. I'm here to do a beautiful reading for my J -j -j Gemini's. Gemini's. Welcome back, my baby Gemini's. Yes, welcome to our channel, okay? Um, yes, welcome, 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 new subscribers, returning family, cross watchers, everyone here is welcome. Yes, this is a channel where we learn, heal, grow, and evolve. Yes. So we're going to tap into the energy. Oh, this is not, a, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with each and every person that watches the channel. Okay. So just take the messages that resonate, please, and leave the rest behind. Thank you so much. Are you guys ready? Choir, come to the front now. <clears throat> One, two, three, go! Gemini, 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 Gemini. I say Gemini, 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 Gemini. Uh, uh. Gemini, 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 Gemini. Yes. All right. Let's give the choir a hand. To give the choir a hand. So yes, um, singing raises the vibration. Absolutely. So I am, like I told you guys before, you guys are always the first to know because you're my babies and stuff like that. And I have to tell my babies first because, you know, like when you have, a, when you're a mother or a parent and then you have like multiple children and, but you have that one favorite child and the one favorite child want to hog you up from all the other siblings though. And it's like, wait, baby, but all the other babies need nurturings too, right? So that's why I'm going to kind of, I'm still going to, majority rules and majority is uh, Gemini. But I am going to divulge into collective readings. I'm not going to do signs. I'm just going to do Gemini and then collective reading for the other signs that want to, you know, come on in like that. And to be fair, so I'm not going to do a song for all <laughs> the signs. I'm just not. Um, but I did do a collective song. And I'm going to be the first one to roll it out to you guys. I'll probably roll it out to you tomorrow. Okay, so you guys can be the first ones on it. Um, yeah, I like it. I love it. It's catchy. It's beautiful. It's everything to me. And, and if y'all don't like it, I don't care because I'm still be singing that song and y'all gonna be singing it with your mama. Okay. And your auntie. So let's get into it. I'm going to use the, um, what is this? The Oracle Angels, uh, to see what's going on and the energies of my babies. Absolutely. I hope you guys are doing well. Okay. I hope you guys Starting off a good week, going into the new hump, hump, hump day. Okay, y'all hope y'all ain't humping, literally. You know, keep your legs closed for now, if you can. Okay, pray something. Balancing out your sacral, ch sacral chakras and root chakras and shit. Angels, ancestors, father. Father, help us, help us, please. Tell us what messages you want us to know, father. That, um, yeah, they want you to free yourself, too. It was almost like the collective reading. The free yourself came out the bottom, and it was safe for you to love. But I'm going to take it, and it's worth waiting for. Go ahead and free yourself. If you don't want me, then don't talk to me. Go ahead to someone else. And again and again, and I tried. I tried. But the love we have inside has died. Okay, so look. Angels say free your damn self because the love that you had over and over and over and over again, you done tried it, right? And with this person, whoever this person is. And over and over and over, like Fantasia said, listen to the song. And then, honey, no. It's a no. The spirit say free yourself. Okay? Cause why would why if why don't you why do you stay if you're so unhappy if you're unhappy then you're free to go on I don't want you staying around if I make you so miserable if you don't want me then don't talk to my black ass right or white ass or who a Mexican ass <laughs> Latin ass Italian all the colors honey we all one okay because we all have one anyway go ahead and free yourself if you don't want to be with a beer or Nia right. Um, because look, free yourself, angels are telling you because this the song came out is because some of you are dealing with someone right now that you're codependent with and you don't even know why you stay with this person. Why? Ask yourself why the spirit asking you why to free yourself, Kim say. Um, you're a fucking unicorn. You're a pony. Hey, I'm a pony. Just like, what's his name? Richard Simmons. <laughs> that man made me laugh. Is he still living? I don't think he is now more. I, I hope he, I don't know. I can't hope nothing. It's God's will be done shit. 
Because we can't even keep our own selves living, right? Um, but whatever, when you free yourself from whoever this is or whoever that is, because Spirit said it's time for you to take back control of your life. Okay, some of y'all ain't taking control of your life. You just let somebody else run the shit. But anyway, once you let go of this free, I mean of this free love, of the, yeah, you're giving your love away for free. You ain't getting nothing in return. So it's an empty, free-ass love, okay? Once you release that uh, person, then you're going to have someone that has been worth waiting for. But divine timing was all in work in your love life. So you're trying to figure out, why, Jesus, why, Lord, I can't get where I'm at. Him not here because you're not freeing yourself. You're not releasing yourself. And someone about to hear you right now, I don't want to be with them no more, but you're still physically with them in your heart. Even if you're not physically with them, you, some of y'all crying over them, thinking about them and shit, like wondering what happened, why the love is gone. He don't love me no more. Like, girl, love you. Boy, love you. Uh, loving yourself is more romantically, makes you more romantically attractive to another person. Because for me personally, an insecure person, a man, that's always wondering, you know, at questioning himself and and thirsty and, and, and that's not attractive, okay? Somebody that's always thirsty for attention and having to ask you, do they look good and how does this look and who do they think? Like, who gives a fuck, right? But anyway, after you freed yourself, the love that's worth waiting for, which is, is come in divine timing, is coming in divine timing, this involves engagement. This is what... The goal is not even just engagement, you know, it's the whole everything. But you got to keep an open mind, you guys. Okay, you got to keep an open mind, okay? So high vibe, just bear with the, if bear with mom. We have to pick up everyone, sweetheart. We cannot leave everyone behind, okay? I understand you were let go, but some other, our family members haven't let go, Okay. So they need to keep an open mind. And then the soulmate, and then the thing is, y'all too little picky, a little something, something. Y'all need to be open-minded. Some of you just have what you like. You have a certain type. You have a certain size. You have a certain shape. And there's nothing wrong with that. But damn, keep an open mind about the shit. Everybody is human. Nobody is perfect. Look, looks can fade any day, all day long. What you look like 10 years ago... Some of y'all don't even look, look, my daughter works at this, uh, uh, at her job, she look at IDs all damn day, all motherfucking day. And she be like, mommy, you look good for your age because I saw, I see people in their 40s and they be looking like they 72. <laughs> She's like, and I be seeing some people my age, like they be 22, 23, looking like they your age in their 40s. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Okay. So look. All I'm saying is looks can fade, okay? The penis can go away. The vagina, anything can happen. You know what I mean? God forbid, but I'm just saying anything can go wrong and you're stuck. So you have to look for unconditional love. Look for true love. Don't be looking for that vanity, self-sacrificial love. You know what I mean? And a lot of men are guilty of it because men do see with their eyes. They look with their eyes, okay? But I don't know. I guess I'm talking to a man, sir. Sir, I'm going to need you to expand your horizons and open up your mind just a little bit more and don't be so shallow when it comes to the body of the female anatomy, okay? I know you put some of them, this man I'm probably talking to like him skinny with big boobs, like calm the fuck down or he like him with small waist and big old hips and shit and all feel, look, that lady going to look crazy when she get older. That's all I'm going to say, okay? Because I ain't never seen no grandmother. <laughs> I ain't never seen no grandmama. You know what I mean? Like, mm, unless then all the people that we've been looking at is fucking plastic from Hollywood and from the TV and shit. They done got snipped, tucked, and where's the real bitches at? Where's the real bitches at? Right? Exactly. All these men so used to being desensitized and looking at, um, you know, the movies with these models, model figures and shit like that. Real, 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 real women don't look like that. I'm just keeping it 100, Okay. Unless you want you a build a bear. Now I don't know who the fuck. I mean, anyway, let me let me move on. Okay, so angels, give us two more cards. I'm not going with the Terrio. Ter Terrio. <laughs> the tarot. Oh, I keep hearing Madonna. We are living in the material world. And I am a material girl. You know that we are living. So we're living in the material world. And some of y'all is material boys and material girls. 
And I just want to say this, there's nothing wrong with having nice things, wanting nice things, okay? But that's not where the buck stops, babes, okay? When you all that shit is gone, then what do you have? If you don't have anything on the inside, if you don't have substance, you know what I mean? You don't have character, you don't have all those other things. But Because I know a lot of rich, rich people that are lonely as fuck, miserable. But you got a fucking lot of money, but you got a Bentley, but you got a Benz, but you got a big ass house. I mean, why are you sad? Because they don't have anything on the inside. They thought all the shit on the outside was going to fulfill inside. And then a lot of the older men that didn't hold their ass out so long, you know what I mean, that don't know my men want them really like that no more, okay? You can't, or, or a woman, you can't be spitting all your tread. Your tread is your JJ, okay? You, you, done, you done fucking burnt your tires out and shit, you know, and going over dips and humps and, and fucking potholes and shit. Uh-uh, no. You guys preserve your shit. Take care of yourself. Don't abuse and mutilate yourselves, okay? I love you guys. Love yourself. I can't love you alone on my own. You have to do that as well, okay? Oh, so what else, angels? Let me get into the tarot. Because Father want me to tell y'all that, though. They do. Love yourself because he loves you. And you are him. So stop mistreating yourself. Because when you mistreat yourself, you're mistreating God, if that makes sense. Stay woke. All right, so angels, what is this? Hold on. Father, Father, God, angels, Holy Spirit, ancestors, ascended masters of the highest white light, pure love only. Please let my baby Gemini's know what you, Father, would like them to know. What, what lessons, what's in their energy, just anything you can let me be a vessel for my babies. Thank you, angels. Okay. Bottom of the deck, rebirth, okay? So some of y'all going through a rebirth, hallelujah, yeah. Closing out cycles. You see how she's kicking it, whatever she's kicking out, you kicking shit out that don't serve your highest good or purpose. A lot of you guys have started brand new brand new projects. Some of you are on a worldwide, worldwide web. Some of you are actually performers on a center, on a center stage. <laughs> on a stage, you know, in the public eye, concerts okay i'm hearing stadium feel you feel st some of you feeling stadiums right now congratulations y'all i heard the fuck out of that who is in my collective feeling stadium hey <laughs> well you start a new shit boo yes and it's your wish fulfillment okay so these ones okay so this is death i, sh I knew it was on the back uh, backwards okay so you guys have a brand new beginning okay brand new spanking beginnings and on the other hand you guys are going through a transformation literally as we speak, okay? Some of you put and have put an ending to things that don't serve your highest good, your highest per. You guys are listening. I love you. You guys are doing the fucking work, okay? You're doing the fucking work. You're closing out cycles, okay? And now Divine is getting ready to bless you with this Ten of Cups because a lot of you guys, as soon as you kicked all this old energy out and you're going through your rebirth, you're, you have satiety. You, satiety is satisfaction, okay? A lot of you guys are getting satisfaction in your life. You're getting more peace, your tranquility. You're more happier. The, I mean, your life, burdens have been lightened and lifted, okay? Yeah, and you have brand new, like I said, passionate beginnings, Okay, you're investing and yeah, a king of pentacles wants to invest in you and somebody feels like it's a failure. What? Yeah, somebody wants to celebrate. We know, we look collective. We, I mean, Gemini's, it could be collective in here too. We already know um, who feels like a failure. You guys aren't failing at all. But um, this relationship, oh, I'm picking up too. Somebody don't want you to have a rebirth either. They want you to fail at this rebirth, they don't want you to invest in yourself. And they don't want a, a king of pentacles to invest in you either. They don't want a truth to be revealed to you about a ten of cups situation. Yeah, they want to keep you in the dark about a third party situation. What is this third party in Ace of Wands? Because I don't like that. What are they trying to tell my Geminis? What's going on? What's going on, angels? Six of swords. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, here we go. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, what else? Okay, I'm not going to take these in reverse because I think the card was, the depth was mixed up. But, um, then we got the Ten of Wands with the Five of Fucking Pentacles and the Tower. Here we go. Here we go. All right. 
Angel said, good job. Okay, so, Jesus, okay, so this Three of Cups, okay, so Gemini's, you guys are wonderful, you guys are doing good, you kicked motherfuckers to the curb, you started investing in yourself, a King of Pentacles is seeing you, he's seeing you from afar, you don't see him seeing you, but him see you, okay, he's sitting on this elephant, and you see you hard at work, so wherever he see you, he see you at work, and you don't even see him seeing you bending over and shit, <laughs> you see how you bent over, working hard, and him on the elephant, him looking, honey, him or her, here, because we have my males. So the males, look, if I say her, just please flip the energy. I'm not trying to leave you out. I just make it easier for me because I'm a woman. And I will go crazy if I keep trying to get in all y'all's energies and y'all bodies trying to say him, him, her, 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 him, him. Okay, so him on the elephant is looking at her. And then, sir, you could be a her with this. The elephant could be a woman looking at a man. This could be the man. Okay, so just take it and flip it. And they like what they see, Booski. Oh, yeah. And this is the truth. And this person, whoever they see you, honey, they see you as the Ten of Cups, honey. That is pure satisfaction. Oh, yeah. They see you as satisfaction. Satisfaction. Yeah, they want to stick it up in ya. They want to sit on it. They want to do something to it, honey. They song, woo, yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay, yeah, they want us, honey, they want to celebrate on the one. Come on, do, 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 yeah, yeah, celebrate on the one. Come on, and honey, let me tell you, because of that, and that's the only reason that fucking this raggedy ass energy want to come up, because you're about to celebrate on top of this motherfucking one, <laughs> okay? And um, somebody from your past trying to get to you, honey. They're trying to strategize and analyze how they're going to come back and get to you and gain some type of power because they're holding on to you. You see power up here? They say this is a big, rich town. Yeah. Um, Because they're feeling oppressed right now. They're feeling heavily burdened right now. Woundy is. Now, y'all know who it is. You know why Woundy feeling worried? Y'all know why Woundy feeling worried? Because Woundy is worried because they homeless, they crunchy, they sleepy, they hungry, they feeling left out in the cold right now. While you have a rebirth and you working hard and got this king of pentacles looking at you from behind or this queen of pentacles or whoever looking at you from behind, honey, they think you fine as wine. And they seeing you right now and they having nasty thoughts about you and they want to come and pour up in you. Okay? Okay. Now, look, Gemini, now y'all heard me preach. Actually, now, this is not giving you permission just because this motherfucking King of Pentacles want to come up and he looking at you all crazy and want to get up in you and then want you to sit on the wand and everything. That don't, that don't mean sit on the fucking wand, okay? I'm going to tell you that right now. But anyway, this person's worried. Woundy Crusty is worried and sad and feeling heavily burdened because there's been a tower in their life. This causes a tower to them. But God was like, yeah, motherfucker, I got you. And it was illuminated to them immediately who caused this tower event because God showed up once again. So God has showed up twice, honey. God is really, really working with Woundy and Krusty to show Woundy is who is who, okay? And yeah, God was like, you wanted to ruin my baby, so no, I'm going to ruin you with the Ten of Swords. And he did it gladly. Yeah, 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 I like this reading. <laughs> And they're under judgment. Judgment was called on this motherfucker. They were exposed. They've been exposed. That's what the sun is exposing. And after, after they got exposed, then the tower came down and they're in the Ten of Swords. And now they're under judgment. Now all, about all they can do is sit back and look at you work and have this fine-ass, rich-ass man come to you, honey. And now this motherfucker want to come in and try to be fucking sneaky with his lies and shit. Why? Because they want to call, got to be starting something, want to be starting something. This motherfucker want to start something with your bomb ass king of pentacles. Because your king of pentacles ain't going to be playing that motherfucking shit. Whether it be a male or a female. King of pentacles don't play. Okay? Yeah. Oh, damn. They, all they want you to do is come in to change up shit for you and your do your booski. I said your dooski. Your booskies. Okay? They want to cause a change. They don't want you to go through a rebirth. They don't want you to close out the cycles. They still want you to continue and to juggle. They are literally operating in the king of cups in reverse. Manipulative. Very manipulative, this person. And you already know Questy and Wundi is manipulative. You know they're argumentative. They know they want to cause keep dominion over you because you're an empath. 
The Queen of Cups is an empath. Okay, they think you're still in this energy, even though you are. They don't know that you done leveled up. But they do know you leveled up, but they don't know it's not it's not you, if that making sense. Yeah, they want to the only reason they're coming in to manipulate you and to cause this fight and to block your blessings is because they don't want your King of Pentacles to give you this solid ass offer. They don't want you to come into union with your boo. And this is the truth, Gemini. Okay. So what advice do you have for my baby Gemini's? What advice? Angels, what advice do you have for my baby Gemini? You done gave me the lovers in reverse. I right. Oh, okay. Well, the advice that you have is I'm getting the eight of wands is stand back. Stand back and stand your ground. Okay, fight back. You see how the, it's going back, even though this is communication. Communicate to this person that you're fucking done. You know what I mean? But I'm picking up your King of Pentacles. They ain't even gonna let you do all that. They ain't even gonna let you do all that. They're gonna step in because your King of Pentacles is gonna fucking. He, oh yeah, they got the, your king of wands is a fighter. This motherfucker might be in karate. These motherfuckers got a skill. I don't know with these sticks and shit. Okay, look, I don't, look, Woundy better be, sit down before he gets more wounded. That's all I'm saying, because your king of pentacles is sitting up high, honey. Look, your king of pentacles is strong, honey. Okay, he's a beast. Or she is a beast, okay? Um, and this person's imbalanced. They're going to lose if they come up against you, I mean, of your, of, your, of your boo. So I would just be like, mm-mm, this is, yeah, and they're all doing it just to hold you back from moving forward because they don't want you to be with nobody else, and that's stupid as fuck. Stupid as fuck. Give me one more um romance angel card for my baby Gemini and what they should do for this situation. Give me one more card, angels. Give me a card. Yeah, okay. So it says let your friends help you. I'm always going to keep, because I don't really feel like anybody has any really friends but divine, okay? Because anybody can double cross you and backstab you. And that's a sad thought to have, but that's just the truth in the world we're living in, okay? Because the people that are closest to you do who hurt you the, the most, right? So it says let your friends help you, which is let divine and let your angels help you. Ask and accept support from them, okay? Okay. Also, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So stay positive about this uh, new relationship, even though you might get a little interference from woundy, crusty, okay? Your king of pentacles is not about that life. He don't play that shit. So I'm, I, I'm just feeling a little scared for woundy and crusty right now. And then this new love has stirred your romantic feelings. So you're going to meet this new love. They're going to steer your romantic feelings. It's a healing relationship. I've been picking up a brand new healing, loving, nurturing relationship from my beautiful collective, okay? For those that have done the work and that are looking for someone and want that because divine is answering your prayers. But you you know, this world, as long as we in this world, it's not going to be no walk in the park, okay? So just keep divine first and foremost. Those are the friends that you ask for help from. Don't let don't ask any of your girlfriends, co-workers, none of them. I don't care how much fun you think you have. And they like, girl, I got your back until the end and all that bullshit. That's some bullshit. Okay, let's we gotta get out of that fantasy fucking world. Okay, we're in a spiritual world. Spiritual war. So keep your business to yourself, especially don't tell your friends and stuff, okay? Cause some of them be plotting behind your back and shit and really jealous of you. And you you've caught some of y'all caught your friends looking at your side eye. You know what I mean? You're like, is that bitch just looking at me side eye? But nah, family wouldn't, family wouldn't disrespect. Oh yeah, they fucking will. And they have, and, and they've done it. Right? Drop us something in the comments and let me know. Because honey, I know. I don't know about mothers that backstabbed and betrayed fathers, husbands, wives, son, all of it. It don't matter. A man without the Holy Spirit is like a natural brute beast. And I'm going to end the reading right there. I hope this helped, Gemini's. I love you. Till next time. Bye.